Hey guys, this is Andy over at Falco K9 TV. We're going to try some new technology here. We'll see how it works. Let me know if you like it or not. Uh, but what I want to talk about today is uh, the muzzle for police dog training, security dog training, and uh, how important it is to our training. Uh, the muzzle teaches the dog that the fight is with the man. It also helps the dog learn to look for human odor, in other words, smell for human odor, uh, as opposed to smelling for the equipment that the uh, decoys wear, um, the, the sleeves, the bite suits, the undercover sleeves, the uh, agitation jacket, the scratch pants, all those things. With a muzzle, you can put a decoy in a hiding location uh, before they've had an opportunity to touch or even put on any of the equipment, and you get a more realistic scenario where the dog is using his nose to find human odor. Ideally, whenever I get a new decoy, the first thing I do is hide them in a building without any equipment uh, because if the decoy is new to them, uh, it'll be more realistic as if they're looking for a suspect for the very first time. The important thing about the muzzle, obviously, is the safety factor. You want to make sure and get a good leather muzzle. For right now, I like the Ram 9s, 8s, 7s that the Ray Allen puts out. They seem to be the best for what we utilize them for. Uh, I don't like the big basket ones that... Um, have been popular around here in Southern California for a long time because the hasps have little pointy things that uh, injure decoys quite often. Uh, they're way too expensive for what you get. Um, you get a lot less expensive muzzle in the, uh, the Ram 9 or Ram 8 and uh, they tend to be really safe. I don't like the plastic ones. Over at Anaheim we use plastic ones for quite a long time but um, I found that those uh, you know, would come off from time to time. They also became um, a little bit sharp on their edges because of the dogs dragging them on the ground and that type of thing. The one uh, other important thing is to remember how to put it on properly. On the back side of the muzzle, here this little strap that goes around the neck, that's the most important one. That's the one that needs to be snug and uh, infirm so that the dog cannot get the muzzle off. The one on the top, the front here, the one that goes from the uh, top of the forehead down to the uh, nose piece, can be fairly loose. You just want it to be uh, on properly so that the front of the muzzle cannot slip off the dog's nose, like down here. Uh, it, again, it doesn't have to be tight pushing it up against the dog's nose, but merely needs to make sure that it doesn't come out uh, off of the dog's nose. All right, the, uh, the other great thing about the muzzle is that your scenarios can be far more realistic than with a bite equipment. Bite equipment, you always have to be concerned of the positioning of the decoy to make sure his face doesn't get bit or his feet, uh, back of his neck or the front of his neck, of course, and uh, you know some other areas that they're exposed um, by the positioning of where the height is. Uh, the muzzle, guys, um, uh, is great for putting people underneath uh, vehicles behind uh, wall units, underneath a bed, uh, that kind of thing. It really opens up a wider range of training scenarios that you can use for your dog. All right, as far as your decoys, they really need to be trained well on how to uh, handle a dog in a muzzle. Uh, the muzzle is a great tool, but you can easily ruin it for you and your dog if you have poor decoying. You want to make sure and attend one of our decoy classes because we spend a lot of time training our decoys on how to agitate for a muzzled dog and making sure that it is a big win for the dog. Uh, the worst thing you do is be a wall or a, uh, a tree when the dog comes in for the hit and uh, push that muzzle up against the dog's nose with a very hard impact. That would be very bad. So um, it's too much to go into here, but make sure and attend one of our decoy classes and we will show you how to use it properly. All right, so uh, uh, as far as this episode of Falco K9 TV, utilize the muzzle. Uh, we recommend a Ram 9 or 8 right now. I'm sure there's other ones that are out there that are good. You guys will let me know which ones you use that you really like. And make sure you train your decoys. And uh, make sure you use it properly so that you can have the most realistic training scenarios possible for you and your dog. All right, hope you enjoyed this episode of Falco K9 TV. And stay tuned for more. All right, take care. Talk to you later.